So you're thinking about purchasing your very first combat ship in Elite Dangerous. Let me introduce you to the Eagle Mark II, manufactured by Core Dynamics. Born from the Cold War between the Empire and the Federation, the Eagle Mark II is the most maneuverable piece of tissue paper within Elite Dangerous. Once you start pimping out your Eagle with a bunch of nice weapons and a decent amount of the A-rated modules in the correct places, you are going to understand you run into a power issue. This often means no super cruise assist, no docking computer, and you're still going to be running with subpar shields. For a fighter, the Eagle Mark II has one of the most glorious canopy views you will ever have the honor of sitting in and viewing space from, as well as killing your opponents and hopefully, you know, not dying. If you want to run with better shields, your very best option is to actually sacrifice the quality of your frameshift drive so you can run with a D. It takes longer to get there, but when you get there, you're awesome. When I get into an Eagle, the very first mistake I often make is forgetting that this ship is basically beautiful, but it's also a box of tissue paper. The Eagle Mark II favors having a good pilot, which is you, so if you suck, you're going to be dying a lot in this ship. It doesn't forgive you for making mistakes. One of the saddest stories that most commanders make, as well as myself, is when they start progressing in Elite Dangerous, they just skip this ship, which is a tragedy. Money is just simply far too easy to make at this point in time in Elite Dangerous Odyssey. In most cases, commanders just bypass buying this ship, go directly for the Diamondback Explorer or the Vulture, that way they can be more effective at doing combat. If you're a brand new commander and you purchase the Eagle Mark II for combat, understand that it is barely better than a ship launched fighter, so one mistake could be your last. These purple ring guys sure do seem like a bunch of scumbags, might as well break my boot off in their butts with my fully armed and operational Eagle Mark II. Besides, who in the hell names their kid Ziltoid? I mean seriously, that's pretty messed up. Take that mostly harmless space scumbag, take that. Didn't even have full power to weapons, I only had two pips and you're still getting your butt kicked by this Eagle Mark II. Moral of the story, Commander, if you don't get shot, you're not gonna blow up. Maybe it's just me, but the Eagle Mark II reminds me of a situation where if humans got their hands on a Romulan Warbird from Star Trek and then they reverse engineered it. The other thing the Eagle Mark II reminds me of is the game called Mike Tyson's punch Out from way back in the day. Remember the guy named Glass Jaw that had one wind and he got knocked out 99 times? Yeah, that pretty much sums up the Eagle Mark II. When engaging your opponents in the Glass Jaw Mark II, make sure you stay behind them. That way they can't train their horrible weapons of mass destruction upon you. Because I'm telling you, you get shot in the mouth a few times in this ship, you're going to fade to black and go to the rebuy screen, Commander. The good news is, I did all my pew pewing from behind so it didn't stand much of a chance. Now let me show you what it accidentally on purpose looks like to attack a federal assault ship and they see you. I've got you in my sights, purple ring scumbag. I'm fairly certain you stand no chance against my superior flying skills. You are no match for my Space Eagle Glass Jaw Mark II. You should run in fear, it doesn't matter that you're starting to take my shields down. Hey, wait a second. At this moment, he knew he made a mistake. Wait a second, you mean I was supposed to do all my pew-pewing from behind or I'm basically a box of tissue paper that's catching on fire right now? Um, yeah, time to get out of here. Sadly, Hawks Gaming forgot the most important rule in Elite Dangerous Odyssey. That is to always pew-pew from behind in the most maneuverable ship within the game. In a nutshell, not getting shot is good, Pew pewing your opponent is good. If you screw that up, not so good. Glass jar or not, the Eagle Mark II is a beautiful ship. She is a joy to fly. She has an amazing view through her canopy. You can purchase her and upgrade her all the way with the greatest components, and it will still cost you less than a large cargo rack, which is totally amazing. And since she's gonna be so cheap, whenever you make a mistake, it's not really that bad because your rebuy cost is, well, practically nothing. That Federal Assault ship kicked my butt so bad in the Glass Jaw Mark II. It's time to arrest these space scumbags for what they did and send them to Federal Pound Them in the Butts prison. 
if I can actually hit anything with this Dagon ship. Welp, I guess they escape justice once again. Maybe it's the ship. Certainly not my mad skills. So should you buy the Cobra Mark II? Well, I don't know, I'm kind of torn. It's so cheap to the point where you should probably just buy a different ship because it's gonna perform better in combat. It does have one of the most glorious cockpit views, in my opinion, of any fighter craft within Elite Dangerous, but yeah, that's just not enough to sell me on buying this ship when I can just kill maybe a couple more pirates and afford a better one. The Eagle Mark II is priced right for a noob ship. The problem is, is it is a space glass jaw. You're gonna get punished a lot, so it's not really fun. I think this ship is more geared towards the fly-by-your-pants experienced fighter pilot more than the noob. If you are an experienced fighter pilot, well, the Eagle Mark II is going to be very fun for you. If not, if you're somebody like me that kind of sucks, well, you're going to die a lot. Keep that in mind. But who knows, maybe that's the experience that you desire within Elite Dangerous. You want to fly a ship that will totally and completely punish you when you make a mistake. And if that's the type of gameplay you want, then go ahead and purchase the Eagle Mark II, the glass jaw of the universe. She's sleek and sexy, she will most definitely make one of the most glorious space coffins ever, Commander. All my love to my Patreons, YouTube channel supporters, and Discord channel boosters. I love y'all.